Hello everybody, it's Sarah from the Playhouse and it's story time! I have a story from the STARS classroom today that I would like to share with you. It is about a ladybird. Ooh, take a look at our ladybird friend here. What kind of face is this ladybird making? Is that a happy face? Or a grouchy face? Oh, I think it's a grouchy face. This story is called The Bad-Tempered Ladybird. And it's by Eric Carl. Let's find out what happens with our bad-tempered ladybird. Oh, wow. Look at all of the spots. Here we go. It was night and some fireflies danced around the moon. There they are. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybird flew in from the left. It saw a leaf with many aphids on it. <gasps> Do you see all of our little aphid bugs on the leaf? Ooh, that looks like a yummy breakfast for some ladybirds. <gasps> Ooh, and the ladybird decided to have them for breakfast. But just then, a bad-tempered ladybird flew in from the right. Uh-oh. <gasps> it too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. <gasps> what will happen? Good morning, said the friendly ladybird. Go away, shouted the bad-tempered ladybird. I want those aphids. We can share them, suggested the friendly ladybird. No, they're mine, all mine, screamed the bad-tempered ladybird. Or do you want to fight me for them? Um, if you insist, answered the friendly ladybird sweetly. It looked the other ladybird straight in the eye. The bad-tempered ladybird stepped back. It looked less sure of itself. Oh, you're not big enough for me to fight, it said. Well, then why don't you pick on someone bigger? I'll do that, screeched the bad-tempered ladybird. I'll show you. It puffed itself up and flew away. <gasps> oh dear. Oh. At six o'clock, it met a wasp. <gasps> hey you, said the bad-tempered ladybird. Wanna fight? Well, if you insist, said the wasp, showing its stinger. <gasps> oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird and flew off. <gasps> What will happen next? Oh dear. At seven o'clock, it saw a stag beetle. Hey you, you wanna fight? <laughs> if you insist, said the stag beetle, opening its jaws. <gasps> oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird, and it flew off. <gasps> Who will the ladybird see next? Ooh, at eight o'clock, it came across a praying mantis. Do you remember what he says? Can you help me? Hey, you, you wanna fight? Well, if you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out with its long front legs. Ooh. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird and flew off. Ooh, the things are getting much bigger, the insects and the animals. At nine o'clock, it almost flew in to a sparrow. Hey, you, you wanna fight? Well, if you insist, said the sparrow, opening its sharp beak. <gasps> oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird and flew off. <gasps> Who will come at 10 o'clock? Oh dear, at 10 o'clock it saw a lobster. Hey, you, you wanna fight? Well, if you insist, said the lobster, stretching its claws. <gasps> oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird, and flew off. <gasps> he keeps picking fights and then flying away. Ugh. At 11 o'clock, it bumped in to a skunk. Oh, P.U. Hey, you, said the bad-tempered ladybird. Want to fight? Well, if you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift its tail. Uh-oh, do you know what happens next? Ugh. Oh, well, you're not big enough, said the big, bad-tempered ladybird, and flew off. 
Who will Ladybird find next? Uh oh. At 12 noon, it spotted a boa constrictor. Hey, you! said the Ladybird. Wanna fight? If you insist, said the snake, right after lunch. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird, and flew off. <gasps> oh my goodness, at one o'clock it happened upon a hyena. Hey you, said the bad-tempered ladybird, wanna fight? If you insist, said the hyena. <laughs> Ah, laughing eerily and showing its teeth. Can I see your teeth? Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird and flew off. Oh dear, I bet this next animal will be even bigger. Oh my goodness. At two o'clock it met a gorilla. Hey you, said the bad-tempered ladybird. Wanna fight? Well, if you insist, said the gorilla, beating its chest. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird and flew off. Look at how small the ladybird is compared to our big giant gorilla. <gasps> oh, at three o'clock it ran into a rhinoceros. What will the ladybird say? Hey, you, want to fight? If you insist said the rhinoceros, lowering its horn. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird and flew off. Why does this little ladybird keep picking fights with such big animals? Huh. <gasps> oh, there's an elephant with its long, long trunk. At four o'clock it encountered an elephant. Hey, you, wanna fight? Well, if you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk and showing its big tusks. <gasps> oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird and flew off. <gasps> Whoa! At five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey, you, said the bad-tempered ladybird, wanna fight? But the whale didn't answer at all. Huh, you're not big enough anyway, said the ladybird and flew off. <gasps> At 5.15, the bad-tempered ladybird said to one of the whale's flippers, there he is right there, hey you, wanna fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. At 5.30, the bad-tempered ladybird said to the whale's fin, <gasps> There it is again. Hey, you, wanna fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. <gasps> At a quarter to six, the bad-tempered ladybird said to the whale's tail, hey, you, wanna fight? And the whale's tail gave the bad-tempered ladybird such a slap, boo, that it flew across the sea and across the land. There he goes. Flying, flying, flying. <gasps> At six o'clock, the bad-tempered ladybird went right back where it had started from. Ah, oh, here you are again, said the friendly ladybird. You must be hungry. There are still some aphids left. You can have them for dinner. <sighs> oh, thank you, said the wet, tired, and hungry ladybird. Do you want to share them? Oh, he's changed, hasn't he? I think he had quite, quite a tricky day trying to fight with all those animals. I'm glad that the nice ladybird was still gave the grumpy ladybird a second chance. Soon all the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You are welcome, answered both the ladybirds. There they are. The fireflies, who had been sleeping all day, came out to dance around the moon as the ladybirds slept. The 
And, oh, that was a very, very grouchy ladybird, wasn't it? Oh, sometimes we all have grouchy days and that's okay. We just have to remember to be kind to one another. Thank you for listening, everybody. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.